Hello, everybody. Welcome to the weekly read. So, um, yeah. Whew. Sorry, I'm going to sweat through this video too. Again, with this heat wave stuff, just nothing. Everything's just sticky and stuck, and it doesn't make it very easy to go through this, I know. <laughs> so, hopefully, hopefully, we get a reprieve here soon. But, yeah, we'll just dive right into it and see what's going on for this week. Who knows? <laughs> I think it's going to be a just continual uh, energy and movement, and changes and reveals and yeah. yeah it's all, it's all, the, the house of cards is coming down. It's kind of fun. <laughs> okay, we got the magician card for this week. So, that which I create in the world returns to me. So, Again, just, again, really tapping into our manifestation, our magical abilities, um, and keep creating, even though, like, it's kind of funny, like, we're creating, and we don't know what it's for yet, <laughs> but it's just important us, for us, sorry, to be in that vibration of, of ease, grace, peace, and then creating more of that, and more of more of the things we, you know, want to, as everything crumbles away, what we want to replace all that stuff with. Um, yeah, because we, so we got the stretch card again. And for me, that's always just like, we're, we're in a growth phase. We're stretching our roots. And, uh, and in this case, it's like the roots are all on top of the head, right? So that we're stretching our, um, our empathic abilities, our psychic abilities, our, all of that is ex expanding and stretching out and growing. So I'll just keep allowing for that process to happen. Yeah, and we also got the revision card. So what I always say with this card is it's, it's always a good retrograde card. And we are actually, I think, we're either in the shadow period or we moved into Mercury retrograde. I can't remember when it happened, but it's it's soon. So the re words always come up during retrogrades, right? Rest, uh, revision, re, uh, just all of them, <laughs> whatever you can come up with. So I think this is just, again, really hammering home the manifestation piece about make sure you're keeping the vision for what's coming, uh, flowing and in our thoughts and prayers and movement and everything we're doing becomes a moving thing, right? Whew, sweating. All right, let's do the Monday through Wednesday here. Did I grab, oh yeah, okay. So I just did random decks, we'll see what we get. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's a good card. In all the times I've read this deck, I've never had this card. So. Okay, first up for the Monday through Wednesday piece, on the lookout. Be alert to the happenings around you. Yeah, so we still need to um, be aware of what's going on as all the systems collapse and um, that kind of thing. So it's not that we're ignoring it. It's just that we are observing. We're in that observing phase. And again, like if you look at this, this owl is way up in the sky. That bigger picture thing, right? It's coming in from above and just observing and not getting absorbed in it. Um, and so, so that we can have, uh, we can have a good look at everything. And the reason I say that is like intelligence card comes up next. Education, knowledge, the big word I think here is perception and flexibility. I think a lot of the stuff we're about to learn as it all comes out, even for anybody who's been doing it a long time or just even the last couple, you know, this year, <laughs> um, it's really going to change our perception of what's been happening what we truly are, what this world really is, <laughs> like all of those things are also shifting, right? It's not just on a, 
system-wide of how we do things on this planet. It's happening to us as well. Like discovering that we all are that little bit psychic or whatever you want to call it, right? We all have our intuition and our abilities and they've been suppressed for so many years. So yeah, this week again is about coming back up um, and allowing just to observe things and let, as your perception changes as to what everything is doing. I'm going to read this card first. We also got the clearing card. As true offering, offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to God's God. Such freedom to God's. Interesting. I've, I don't think I've had this card either. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the funny thing. I'm, you know, the, the, that's the old being traded in for the new. Uh, you shift from mine, mine, mine. That's been this, you know, this life we've been living. We've been taught and raised to, you know, that achievement only comes from having things and doing stuff and um, having money and things like that. And this is mine and that's yours. And this land is mine and that's your land and all of that stuff. And it's all total BS. <laughs> so we're in, this card is just saying we're in that stage of clearing and shifting to everything is all connected and it's all gods and we're God and like that connection. So just, yeah, allow, this week, beginning of the week is just allowing your perception of things to change. Look, every time I touch my hair, I like, um, allowing our perception to change this week um, or and letting us know that it is going to be radically changed. So as that clears out, um, shifting our energy too from that egocentric place where we're trying to hang on to all this old stuff and our old way and just going with the flow and realizing that God, if you want to term it another thing, but spirit has our back and the universe has our back. And we're moving into this. Um, so we have to kind of let go of that uh, hanging on to things <laughs> that were, an, you know, the old way. Um, we also flipped up the non-duality card. So this is let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. So this is this is the the nature of our soul is where we're supposed to be is in this like non-dualistic place where we can um, keep one foot in both worlds, but be, but not, you know, not be struggling to do it. It just is our being, our way of being, our authentic humanity, right? So bowing to the divine, but also shining your humanity through. And the last card we got for the first part of the week is the gates of triumph this card never had it success expands in your life this again is a, the goes to the perception you know the perception of what is success success on this planet that we've been in is that mine 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 and i have and i have this and i achieved this and da, 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 and this goes back to a more um not self-centered thing, but for the greater good of all, right? Success, success in my mind now at this age and going through all this spirituality, success is like, how good of a person am I? Um, am I able to, you know, help others, help myself, take care of things on this planet, be it one with nature, be it one with humanity, all of those things. That's success to me in this lifetime now. And so we, look at us, look at us, you guys, we're in triumph. <laughs> triumph is my, like, yeah, it's all coming to fruition and for the betterment of everything. So, so never to panic about that stuff, right? That's going to be a good week. It's kind of nice though, too, getting the, the, you know, the perspective card again, because we can, it's an, another week where we can just observe. And again, we're not um trying to do fix 
create like the only creating we're doing is manifestation for the future right i think it's just a week of like we really need to again enjoy this process and um have some fun with it and just observe as as things come out and we see it as it is so yeah uh, i think it's great i think it's exciting Okay, so first up for the last half of the week, the surprising splendor of life. Enjoy the fleeting pleasures of your every day. Yeah, so this is like kind of what we talked about in the moon read. It's We also have to be in a place of we're living in the present moment and we're enjoying what we have and what we've accomplished and where we're at at this point and, and we're dreaming about even more great stuff that we're going to do but we're enjoying this process we're not struggling through it um you know like it's just time for us to be able to do that and the more like love energy we can put into it and joy energy joy is in that high vibration of love right um the easier this is going to be for us uh, we also got the honesty card this is interesting, the key, right, to the throat chakra at the throat there. She's got the key in her hand. Truth, transparency, sincerity, and communication. So honestly, that is just honestly, honesty. Uh, uh, that is just that there's so much more truth coming out this week, especially by the end of the week, it sounds like. Um, and then just us being, oh, well, transparency is nice because we've needed that in a lot of our systems in this world. There's been zero transparency. Um, but I feel like this is also just saying also we need truth and transparency and honesty with ourselves so that if we are struggling or we do need someone to talk to, that we're reaching out and talking to the, to the right people too, right? Don't try to like take your truth to somebody who's not ready for it. Make sure you find the like-minded people and that you're having those conversations um, and just being honest about what's happening too. Like I said in the moon read, it's it's not, we're not suppressing our feelings. We need to like to go through our emotions and things with this. There's going to be a lot of emotion with this, but it's really important that we're, you know, that we're using that key and unlocking our voice and and asking for help and asking for people to just listen to us um like, like and hear our truth without any judgment or any of that stuff right so it's just we're just in this process of unlocking all of this and you know previously it's always been shut down right communication is in this card it's been we've been censored we've been shut down we've been brainwashed we've been whatever told like what we believe is conspiracy or whatever the word is right um and and that that veil is finally being removed so it's it's time for us to be our authentic self and say hey and call it like it is and 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 express our emotions and our feelings um so that we can come together and help each other through this all right so we also got two cards here journey by moonlight which is believe in magic Begin now. Take your first step. Ooh, yeah, that's about that truth card too, right? Start talking to people. Start talking, start gathering, start um, start demanding truth and transparency in our systems, right? It's time. Like, we, we're not going to get shut down this time. The Believe in Magic is goes back to the manifestation piece. So just really be working on, we're starting it this week. Start working on your personal magic. What, are, um, um, like, what are we trying to accomplish moving forward, and what do we want to see more of? So, really working on that. All right. So, the last card for the end of this week: inner power. Give me the courage and the power to do what must be done. Right. So that's taking this first step. How do I take this first step? Again, lion energy coming in for Lionsgate, um, firing us up, getting us ready, 
And again, this isn't stuff where we're like out protesting or um, again, changing, trying to change people's minds that are not awake or not quite um, up to speed on things. So we're not trying to do that kind of stuff. We're just, we're just going out and authentically speaking our heart, speaking our truth. Um, and then just, we put it out there and, and, and that's what we do with it. It stays at that point. We're not jamming it down other people's throats. We're not, <laughs> you know, like we don't need to do any of that. It's, we just have to be honest, honesty, right? Just be honest. What do you really feel about something? And, and as things come up this week, you know, just be like, well, sorry, you know, like, this is what I think. That's my truth. And, and that's what it is. End of sentence. Like, it doesn't matter what that other person comes back at you with, because that's their shit. It's not your shit. So just be direct and honest and do it in the most loving way that you can. But it's just time for us to start to unlock that throat chakra. And, and uh, we've got the key. So it's just time. All right. So that's the end of the week. Let's sum it up. I'm going to keep this short this week because I have an appointment to get to, but also the heat, the heat, the heat. <laughs> All right. What are we looking at for the end of the week? Hmm, are sticking to that. Back to the judgment part. So again, I always say judgment in this picture. I always love it because the people at the bottom, not everybody, but most of them are kind of celebrating a bit, right? Because it's finally like the 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 end of things, the um the end of the movie, right? Okay, I awaken to the timelessness of body, spirit, and soul. All illusions are shattered. Yeah, so that this could be a really big week again of like like not like they haven't been, but of disclosure of truth coming to light. So also, again, keeping our wits about us and being prepared for that because, um, but we, we're good with that. Like we know all the illusions, again, it has to all come down in order for us to build new. So just another week of continued that, I guess. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to take here. Okay. I'm going to take both of these because, oops. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, it is going to be a, uh, another like boo boo fireworks kind of week. Uh, three cards came out, so I'm just going to read them all. Revolution. This is, oh, I always take the, again, retrograde, but revolution, we always take the R off and this card in evolution. We are, um, and it's happening right now at this full moon. So we are moving forward in the next evolution of things. Uh, this card just made me laugh because the heat card, because like, I would say like nine, I don't know, I have to look at it, but like, I think 70 or 80% of the planet, with the exception of people in winter, are, are, are having heat waves right now. So it's turning up the heat, right? Um, and this kind of looks like at angel wings. Um, and it's interesting, there's healing hands at the back of somebody's head there. So I, I feel like this is just like turning up the heat on on our upper chakras to get them activated. So we're using our intuition more and we're using our crown chakra to connect directly with the divine. Um, and then this all this lower chakra color, red, orange, yellow, um, is that phoenix rising from the ashes. So the heat is going to be turned up a little bit this week, unfortunately. But... The, the first card that flipped over is unity. So we're heading towards it and we're guided by the angelic. We're held by the angelic. Um, this process was always going to happen. That kind of looks like a dragon too, the dragon energy. So, yeah, I mean, there's, again, it's going to be a week of like lots of movement and shifting and that's okay. And we know where we're supposed to be. Take the higher perspective. Don't get too inundated with it. Observe and, and you know, be out there speaking your truth. But now it starts now. We're out there beginning this process. Um, 
And we should, you know, we need to start speaking up and being heard and changing, you know, planting seeds to change everybody else's perspective. Uh, I'm just going to read these three and then we'll be called. So we got card 44, which is good angel numbers, group consciousness, embrace oneness. Again, like t if you need to talk to people, just keep trying to find the people, the like-minded people, right? That have the same consciousness as you. Again, we're not trying to hang out and talk to people that we're wasting our time talking to people that aren't there yet. They have another group of people. It's not us. Um, really try this week to get out there and start making connections because, you know, we need to do this together too. So we also got music, but the, it's the saying below, bring yourself into divine harmony. Yeah. So that honestly is just like, that is us connecting with the divine and saying, how may I serve? Whether that's in meditation or prayer or however you do it, but um, just connecting. And again, uh, if we're doing music or playing, you know, we all have a different instrument and then we all come together to play the same piece as an orchestra, right? So this is a lot about gathering too. And, and getting yourself into divine harmony is just like, again, that's the place we need to be. We, we don't need to be in fear. We don't need to be so far in Wawa <laughs> Lulu land that we're not paying attention to what's going on. We have a good higher perspective of things. And then lastly, we got the unicorn card, spread the light of the unicorns. Um, yeah, the, oh, I always knew at the end of this, as the energy started to come in, the dragon energy would increase and so would the unicorn energy. So call on those energies if you want and, and just see what they do for you in helping manifest and create things this week. Um, again, it's just, it seems like a week of creation and, and manifestation. So, so do it joyfully and enjoy it and speak your truth authentically. And that's the best we can do. All right. We're going to leave it there for this week. We'll uh, see you guys at probably next week. I don't think anything else is going on before then. So take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon. I love you. Bye.